This is my iron ray gun. It's powered by eight AA batteries. It works by amplifying the signals of two 555 timers through a transistor, two high voltage transformers, and a Cockcroft Walton multiplier. This creates a large difference of potential between the discharge terminal and the ground cable. The discharge terminal strips electrons off air atoms nearby and turns them into positive ions that are repelled in this direction. This knob turns the device on and regulates the power. This button activates the ion emission. In a hydrogen atmosphere, the ion ray gun would generate protons, but as I wrote in the Ghostbusters.net forum, it's impossible to build a backpack-sized cyclotron. So, as far as portable devices go, this is the closest thing to a functional proton pack. Before the next experiment, I want to show you a scene from the real Ghostbusters that not only uses scientific terms correctly, it's the closest thing to a description of an iron ray gun. If we can lure him near the roller coaster, we can use our particle beams to ionize the metal superstructure. That might attract a lightning bolt. <laughs> More power! If you break free before the lightning strikes! Now I'm going to repeat the experiment. On a smaller scale, of course. This aluminum ball represents the roller coaster. This one represents the storm cloud. When I use the ions to charge a ball, the charges pass to the other like a miniature lightning. And they say cartoons are not educational.